All right, let's work on getting the two different um, data sets set up in different map frames and um, set up side by side on a new layout. Um, the first thing you want to do is save this symbology as a layer file so you don't lose it and have to do it all over again. Yes, please. So you go down to sharing and save as layer file. You want to make sure you're putting these with your other data, the net CDF files and or um, if you saved them initially when they came in. Um, I'm going to put symbology in there so I know it's my updated data. So sharing, save as layer file. And now that you can see that I have not set up my project correctly. So I have to navigate every single time I go to save something. But I do, because it's the right thing to do. Okay, now we're gonna insert a new map. So maps three and four are my two data sets. Um, and that way, for this one, I can add data and bring in one of my symbology layers. Okay, so in my new map four, I have my later time period. In map three, I'm gonna get rid of the, I'm gonna get rid of this one. So in map three, I have um, my earlier time period. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in here. 89 to 90. And, oh, sorry. Yep. And then in map four, that one is 2019 to 2020. All right. Now I'm going to insert a new layout. And let's see, probably portraits can work best. And then we insert new map frames. First time I want to use this guy, draw a spot for it. And then the second one, I'm going to insert a new map frame and use my Okay, uh, I can also go back and um, into my maps and add my country data set, um, change coordinate systems so that this is displaying in a lovely way. Obviously, you'd want to do all those things, but that's the, the quick and dirty way to set up a layout with two different map frames, and that's it.